fam. Welcome back to another All Things Dope. My name is Chris Vargas, and today, today, we have something that obviously I'm a giant fan of. I love all things Marvel, DC, anime, all that stuff. So, to me, the show has been All Things Dope, but I really haven't really shown off any other aspects of my life other than just like regular shoes. So, today, I want to show off one of the collectibles I picked up. This bad boy right Jay. Look at this. This is Hasbro's Legend series. This is where they like really went in and really made these as dope as possible. I have an Iron Man one already. I, I have it next to my TV and I think I'll put this one on the other side. But oh my gosh. I can't tell you how much I wanted one of these as a kid. Mainly because I didn't really like, when I was growing up, man, I didn't really have a lot of access to comics, but I had access to video games. One of the games I liked to play a lot was Marvel vs. Capcom. And if you know, when War Machine shows up in that joint, comes with a big guns. And so I always thought that was cool. I didn't know he was a different character. I didn't know that War Machine was not Iron Man. I thought it was just Iron Man with the like way more awesome suit. I thought that the black and silver was way cooler than the red and gold. And I still do. I mean, War Machine is a really dope looking character. I love his redesigns throughout Marvel. It's been incredible. So let's get into this bad boy. I always like to keep the boxes, try to keep them like pristine. I got a bunch of them in my closet, just in case. If I ever go broke, um, <laughs> you know, I'll sell these joints. Because when I was younger, when I had Gavin, I had a crap ton of shoes, but I didn't have a crap ton of money. So guess what I did? I sold a lot of my shoes, got that money, paid for the things I needed to pay for, and the rest is history. So you never know. It's, this is beautiful. So sick. So sick, man. This is gonna look dope on the mantle. I'm tripping out right now. Dang, okay. All right, so right off the bat, uh, one of the things that I really like about this helmet is just how pristine it looks, like how good looking this looks, and we'll do some B-roll shots, but look at this. I will say this black right here, this is a little bit more matte. I kind of wish it was like a black, glossy, metallic black, but the matte black is not dope. It feels very like prototype-ish, um, which is what the War Machine suit started off as, a stolen prototype. This is one of those pieces where like, and, and this, I'm gonna get super nerdy right here, but like, I love Daft Punk. And like one of the cool things about that punk is their helmets, right? So when they put on their helmets, they're like completely different people. I mean, they're really incredible artists, but like once that the helmet's on, game on, son. And so uh, you'll notice more and more DJs have kind of taken that mantle, but that punk has been doing it since '93. This War Machine helmet. Can you imagine if I was to like really just go crazy and? put this helmet on and start doing all kinds of Daft Punky things. I mean, I, it's not to say that I couldn't do it. I can definitely do it. The question is, should I do it? The greatest thing about cool stuff is it's just cool. You don't have to explain yourself to anybody. Just have fun and enjoy life. 